Today, we are looking at the Submarine Tourism by Sea Wing and this miniature remote control submarine coming to you right now. I'll start by saying we are, there is no unboxing as what's happening right now in the world. We have to take special procedures with unboxing. I didn't get any on camera, so um, I'll tell you how everything came packaged though, but there is no unboxing. So uh, the first thing we'll be looking at, uh, which also is the first thing you should probably also look at, is the um, instruction manual. Um, you can see here, it says important, you know, normal stuff, uh, like please read, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty simple to operate though, as you can see here, there's some uh, statistics, um, small parts, and other things, how to install the batteries, um, how to actually use it, um, some other instructions, and blah blah blah. Um, I'll hold the camera here. If you need to read anything, you can pause it and look. So yeah, basically, it says indoor use only, which really just means uh, aquariums and stuff like that. But uh, I personally use it in a pool, a chlorine pool, and the, the uh, hot tub. And it's a perfect size for this little submarine. And um, speaking of the submarine, uh, let's talk about how to use it. So this submarine, as you can tell, is small, really small. Um, and, um, well, it's a micro submarine. So uh, in the packaging, I was expecting a submarine maybe this large. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised about just how small this is and how much technology they could fit into this. This would never be possible yeah, 10 years ago or something, uh, well maybe 20 years ago, um, to make a working submarine. Um, so yeah, this is just really impressive what they've done. So um, the first thing you'll need to do is open this. I've already done it, and you need to pull out this little foam bit. You just pull that out. And that allows you to push this down. Um, they put that in there so it doesn't accidentally close and when the lights come on that means it's on and waste the battery. Uh, so that foam bit you can pull out, you have to pull it out. The instructions didn't really make that clear but I took it out, had no issues. Um, so speak, speaking of it working, uh, you all you gotta do is um, plug this in and uh, I will show you how to plug that in right now. So what you'll need to do is um, take the charger, uh, and all you do with the charger is you go over here, sorry about the mess, plug lots of things in here, you just plug it in to a normal USB port. Then you take it, the summary, and there's this, this little notch you can just see, and there's a notch in there. You line the two up. can't do this really well with one hand because it is kind of a, a nuisance so I'll come right back when I actually plug that in. Okay, sorry about that. It's not hard. I just had to push it in and fiddle with it. So yeah, I plug it in, follow the wire. As you can see, there's a red light on. That means the battery is charging. So that means you've done it right. When that light turns off, that means the battery is completely charged and you can go and use the transmitter, which I will now ex uh, explain how to use the transmitter. And this is actually a remote, but <clears throat> I'm just used to calling it a transmitter, so sorry. Now as you can see, the controls are simple. This is surface, dive, left, right, up, and down. Right? Pretty simple. All I gotta do is unscrew the two. I'm not gonna do that because it's... Uh, screwdrivers are hard to use. Take forever. Um, and I suspect this is waterproof or water resistant because there's an o-ring when the whole back piece comes off and by the way it's four AAA batteries just telling you um, so I suspect this can go underwater and you can drive the submarine around while you're underwater um, but I really think that's because this is designed for bathtubs and aquariums so when you're in a bathtub driving your submarine around it doesn't get I don't know so 
really simple. Yeah. And the reason why I purchased this submarine is uh, because of the diving and surfacing feature, where instead of having mo two motors facing up and to turn one speeds up and slows down differential, uh, like an airplane, um, this submarine actually has a propeller that shoots water either direction, sits as yaw, and a propeller in the back that can this way, it can move this way and that way. Um, and by doing that, you can make a realistic looking submarine and to dive at surface, there's actually a ballast tank in there. Um, that's why this submarine is a bit more expensive. It's like 10 bucks more than all the other cheap little submarines, but I wanted a good submarine, miniature submarine. And this is the only one that uh, I could find for a reasonable price that could surface and dive without any motors because it actually has a ballast tank. So that's a really key feature. If you if you have like little kids, um, like really little kids, they probably wouldn't care. You could just get them the one that was near. I wanted a realistic one, so that's why I actually ended up purchasing this. But yes, transmitter, um, it only transmits when you press the button. That's what the red light is. There is no on and off switch, so don't freak out. Um, and yes. I will now show you the summary uh, with the transmitter. Uh, so I'm just gonna unplug the summary and then push this down. And then that's it. Summary is ready to go. Um, it's pretty quiet. Uh, you can feel it vibrate a little bit when you use the propellers and you can hear the piston move also up and down. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it has two LEDs, one in the front, one on the top. Uh, I found at night uh, the green light. It lights up the water. It looks like a laser. It's pretty cool. But yes, I will now go and sail the submarine in the little tub thing, or hot tub. Yeah. So let's go do that. And I forgot to mention this. Uh, you can uh, this extend the antenna which gives you way better range, so uh, make sure you do that before operation. Okay, now we go to the pool. Here's the uh, hot tub I go in, uh, put some worry, and uh, I will set it up and put it in the water. And a very important thing, you always want to have a captain's hat. If you are sailing around your summary, always. That's what I like to do. Uh, so everybody knows I am a summary captain. Uh, so I will now show you how to put this submarine in the water by the instructions. Hold the nose, make sure the cap is closed. Hold the nose, put it in the water slowly, make, and then kind of, it says shake it around like this um, until no more air bubbles come out. And there you go. It should float because I've before I put it in, I held the surface button, so the tank is full of air. Um, I'm going to wait for the water to calm down for me shaking it before I continue to make this video look a little nicer. Now, I am doing this with one hand right now, um, so you can really, when you're doing it with uh, two, you can make everything look more smooth, but you can operate it. You can see the submarine actually turns in place. I mean, it turns in place when you use the... Uh, uh, yaw control forward. It's not very slow, it's not very fast. Uh, then reverse. Uh, forwards again. Uh, and now I'm going to use the dive feature, so I'm just going to hold this down. And the center line is slowly sinking. And now it is underwater. That's, that's why I like it so much, because you, you might not be able to tell on camera, because uh, this water is very clear. But the submarine is actually underwater, and it's getting just below the step. You can see the shadow coming up. And we're on the bottom of the spot. So, uh, yeah, this is a cool toy submarine uh, it's like 35 bucks I'll put the link where I got it from below sorry I wasn't filming I was looking away um, so yeah make sure you uh, check it out uh, and like 
subscribe, whatever, uh, and make sure you check this thing out, it's really cool, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.